Could you please uh, tell us who you are and why you are in Romania? My name is Joan Marc Simon, and I'm the director of uh, Zero Waste Europe. Um, Zero Waste Europe is a, is a network of uh, local groups around Europe. We are in uh, around 15 countries right now, implementing uh, zero waste uh, solutions. And I came to Romania because Romania is one of the countries in the network that is, uh, is pushing uh, for zero waste, and we are trying to implement zero waste solutions also here. What is zero waste in a few sentences? In a few sentences, zero waste is the alternative to a throwaway society. We live in a, in a society that is completely linear, and we want to build a society that is a circular economy, a circular society, but that takes people into account. Today in Europe, uh, we, we, there's lots of talking about circular economy, um, about sustainability, and our point is, yes, it's important to have a circular economy, it's important to close the loop, to get to 100% recycling, but as important as that is to make this loop smaller because we have less and less materials, uh, less and less resources, and we have to share them, and to make sure that whatever we, the, we do in the economy that is useful for the people. We find today that there's lots of inventions that are really not useful for the people, and uh, it's important that we build uh, an economy that is sustainable. And zero waste closes the loop by turning waste into an input for productive cycles and at the same time generating employment. So it's zero waste, it's about stop wasting resources and stop wasting people. And in Europe today, we are wasting too many resources and with the unemployment rates that we have, we can say that we are wasting people. So zero waste is about um, ending with wasting these two resources. Mm -hmm. Could you tell us more in detail how zero waste works in practice? Concretely, zero. what does it mean? Well, zero waste means people, citizens, really um, taking control on, on the future. In a sense that what we do is work with uh, citizens that try to organize local solutions to manage the waste locally so that it creates jobs, that we separate waste, that we have reuse centers, that we redesign products, and give this feedback to companies, give this feedback to municipalities, give this feedback to policymakers, in order to make sure that we have the right laws, that we have the right products, that we have the right um, collection, in order to be able to close this loop. And what we do in Zero Ways is that, really, try to help communities to uh, regain control on the management of resources. Today you had a meeting with uh, mayors and other officials in Cluj. What's your feeling about their attitude towards waste? They represent the communities, yeah. in theory. I had a very positive feeling, honestly. Um, I was positively surprised about the, the availability and the interest that they showed in the, in a, in a zero waste practice. I mean, we have to bear in mind that uh, Romania is at the beginning and it's uh, of, 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 if you want, the zero waste uh, strategy, but also is redesigning the waste management system. And what these mayors are doing is very important because depending on what they decide today, it's going to be the next 20, 30 years uh, strategy. And I think that they are very conscious of the threats of going into like highly uh, capital investments, um, technology, etc and also how to uh, build alternatives. So I think they were very receptive and they were interested in what we were saying because what we were saying is you're going to get more jobs for your community, you're going to get more sustainability, you're going to get more recycling, and you're not going to in-depth the community, which means that in a selfish way, it means that you have more chances to be re-elected by taking the right decisions and not, um, not going for just copying what is happening in Western Europe. And I think that, that was a, that's a message that, uh, that went through. I think that Western Europe has done lots of good things. We have done very well in separate collection, in recycling, in reuse, but we also have committed some mistakes in the last 20, 30 years. And what Romania should not do today is commit the same mistakes that Western Europe committed uh, 20 years ago. And, uh, well, I think that they were... Uh, ready to go this, this, this way and we're there to help. Did you talk about some concrete cases or uh, projects in Romania, Let, let's say incinerators or so? 
We talked a bit about everything. We talked about the importance of uh, of separately collecting organics. That is key. Um, and that's one of the lessons that we have learned from Western Europe. If you separate organics, the rest is going to be easier. And it's important that we start from here. In Romania, they also express their concern for incineration. And we explain that the experience with Western Europe, where we have uh, zero waste communities, that thanks to separate collection to very like uh, high recycling rates, made unnecessary incinerators. We are closing down incinerators thanks to separately collecting organics, uh, intensive source separation, and we're finding alternatives. So right now in Europe we have zero waste communities that implement zero waste programs that are cheaper, that recycle more, that create more jobs. And the only thing we're saying is like, well, we have these examples. That is the most modern, advanced uh, waste management in Europe today. Copy the good things, don't copy the bad things. Tell me something about zero waste Europe your projects, tendencies concerning uh, waste management, your good, uh, good experiences that you had, bad experiences in certain countries? Mm -hmm. Well, so far we have had mostly good experiences. I mean, Zero Waste Europe, we are trying to empower communities to, uh, to implement zero waste strategies. And in this sense, in the last years, we're seeing more and more countries that are joining. This line. We have zero waste Romania, but we also have zero waste Estonia. We're going to get zero waste Holland very soon. We had zero waste France, who was created at the beginning of this year, and they are going very quickly on top of Italy um, and Spain that were there already. And we're going to get very soon zero waste Sweden, um, probably Denmark as well. And on top of that, we have Slovenia, which is uh, in only one year they have managed to make a fantastic change. I was in Croatia last week. It looks very promising. Zero Waste UK is doing very well. So the network is expanding, and we have, we're having uh, fantastic experiences in places that where you would expect it, that they have experience with uh, source separation. But we're seeing also lots of good practices in Eastern Europe. In Slovenia, for example, we joined the European Union only in 2004. We, we have municipalities that are separately collecting more than 70% of the waste. And we have the commitments. And in Eastern and Southern Europe, where there's no incinerators, there's the chance to really advance quickly. And I think that that's where we're doing the most um, positive and quicker moves. Because here in Romania, it's possible to implement a zero waste strategy, zero waste strategy in two, three, four, five years. Because you're not linked to big investments. And there is where we're seeing the big change. But we have fantastic experiences in Gipuzkoa, where we had a we stopped an incineration proposal, we started uh, separately, separately collecting waste, and now more than half of the region is going zero waste with really high separate collection rates, recycling, creating jobs, saving money. The best performing district in Europe, which is uh, Contarina in Italy, in northern Italy, is recycling more than 85% of the waste and is not using incineration for anything. They, they stopped burning waste and now they are recovering materials out of this 15% that is left. So we have lots of positive experiences, and what we're doing with Zero Waste Europe is try to make sure that uh, this knowledge, really, this, this cross-fertilization among the different groups, and it's going well. Uh, we bring experiences from one place to the other, and we link the people, we visit experiences that work in a place and another, and this replication is working very well. What are the tendencies in European policy making concerning waste, incinerators, and so on? Mm -hmm. Well, at Zero West Europe, we are engaged as well in all the lobbying policy making at the European level. And um, right now, there is the, the, the European strategy on resource efficiency, together with a low carbon economy. And, um, and it's clear that the European Union is going to go for more recycling. They, now they're talking about increasing from 50 to 70% recycling targets, which means that incineration is going to be reduced. At the same time, the European Union is saying that they want to stop with landfilling. By 2030, they want to uh, phase out landfilling. And they want to stop burning, incinerating, what is not compostable or recyclable. So what we understand is that if you invest in, in good product design, so everything is designed to be recycled or composted, then there's no need to use any incineration. And in any case, if you don't have landfills in 2030, you don't have incinerators, because if you burn something, you get ashes that need to go to the landfill. 
So it's clear that the European policy is to recover materials. Europe is the poorest country, uh, poorest continent in the world when it comes to uh, resources. We don't have resources. And our competitivity and our sustainability in the future depends on how well we manage to close the loop of resources. And this is not an NGO agenda. This is the agenda of the European Union today. So 20 years ago, um, we were maybe fighting each other. But now we go hand in hand. We agree that we don't have resources. We have to recover what we have in Europe. Material recovery, recycling, is the way forward. Reuse products instead of recycling and prevent them. And burning and landfilling doesn't have a place in the future of European policy. And that is what is being, uh, that is more or less a tendency in Europe. Of course, there are some countries that are, um, are locked into big investments, incinerators like in Germany or Sweden, and they're going to be there for the next 10, 20 years. What is important is that countries uh, like Romania that have, are free to move quickly towards zero waste, they do this step. Okay. One of the last questions what about industry and built in obsolescence in products? That's very interesting. The built-in obsolescence is something that Europe is taking seriously as well. There was a resolution by the Committee of Regions um, banning uh, plant obsolescence. Of course, they don't have legislative power, but it shows a political intention. We're working a lot with, uh, with universities, with the Cradle to Cradle Institute as well, really um, to phase out uh, plant obsolescence. Plant obsolescence made economic sense if it ever made sense in the past, but not today because, as I said, we are in a resource scarcity crisis when we have to create more employment. And there's more and more companies, also big companies, that are moving into reusing materials, into reusing products, into redesigning uh, products so that uh, they can be easily recycled. So I think that we are seeing less plant obsolescence and we're going to be seeing less and less in the future. And the competitivity of Europe's industry in the future, it lies very much on, uh, on being able to innovate in this field. Because Asians are producing very cheap uh, products with plant obsolescence. But the future of Europe's competitivity is really on going for this new market. Market of good materials, dur durable, recyclable, uh, leasing strategies, etc. So. Um, it's true that plant obsolescence has been there for the last decades. I think that we are getting out of it, or at least the European policies start to go this way. If there is anything that you would like to add that I haven't asked you, or if you have a message to the world, then please <laughs> say it. Message to the world. The message to the world would be that we have to choose. We are in times where sustainability is at hand, we have the most um, educated uh, generation in, me in the human history. At the same time, we are, we, have, we are in the most difficult situation in the history of humankind. We are, have the possibility to destroy ourselves, but we also have the possibility in our hands, thanks to our um, knowledge and thanks to the practices and thanks to the citizen engagement, to really get out of this um, with a better society. And zero waste is a way to unite people and to make them work together to make a sustainable future. So zero waste is one of the pieces of the puzzle that is going to open the doors to a future that is sustainable and where we can live. So I, I would encourage the Romania really to, to adopt zero waste strategies and, and work with us together with the other countries in Europe in this direction. Thanks a lot. Thank you.